How's it going everyone? Zonobar here coming at you with another video and today it's going to be an unboxing video of one of the sneakers I got to secure at E3. Uh, so if you guys don't know what E3 is, it's an exclusive, uh, it's a yearly, I don't want to say exclusive, but it's a yearly convention, video game convention where uh, you get to play, try and uh, see the new games that are going to come out from the biggest uh, companies in video games, so like Nintendo, Bethesda, or Ubisoft, or whatever. And basically, during the convention, E3 worked with PS4 and PS4 worked with Nike to launch a sneaker for the event. So, E3 exclusive Nike uh, PlayStation Air Force One. So, if you don't know the Air Force One, I'll put a photo right here. So, we're gonna unbox this right now and see what it looks like. I'm super, super hyped, honestly. Uh, I'm, I'm a sneaker guy. I do have like some uh, some Yeezys, uh, some Jordans. Uh, I don't have as much because I recently moved to LA. But I'm such a sneaker enthusiast and I've never done an unboxing on this channel. So I'm pretty excited into it. So let's get right into it. Uh, I got this box a few days ago and I, I couldn't open it because I was like, I gotta do a video. This is such a special item that will probably, that will probably never be worn. Uh, because, uh, well, first of all, it's not on my size. I didn't get, my, I didn't get my size, but I'm gonna open it and see how it is, and maybe uh, and share the, the opening experience of of this sneaker. So the box is pretty. It's not different. The Air Force One box for the old one version that I have, it's a gray. It's a gray. Uh, it's just a gray box. So you have here the Nike Air Force One. And here you have, it says, Air, Fo Air Force One PlayStation uh, 18 QS. I'm not sure what QS means, but quick QS, Quicksilver, I don't know. All right, so we open it. I got some return package. I'm probably not going to return these. And holy moly, dude. Woo! Oh, my God. So right now, it's like a basic black top white metal and a uh, translucent uh how do you call this the just the sole the midsole the midsole upper i don't know i don't know how this is called but, but you can see the square cross circle triangle from the ps4 controllers so very cool like let's say uh, like you just cross your legs or you put one leg on top of the other and people see that that's like the killer detail right here and what's insane, so this is just black leather, very good quality by the way. Uh, and here you have the controller, like circle, blah, blah, blah. On the very cool, like blue, um, plasticky material, uh, kind of like shiny material. Here you have the shiny part as well. And here you have like the more leather matte finish. And the swoosh is really what gets me insane to be honest. So. I just want to see if there's anything inside and the soul. So no, the, the soul here doesn't say anything. It just says Air Force One. But here, I don't know if I can show you. I'll probably get better footage on my iPhone with B-rolls. But here you have an amazing, like, just coolest swoosh with, like, the logos of PlayStation. Uh, and it's such a cool sneaker. Like, honestly, like, whoa, look at this. I'm going to get the second pair. I'm going to see if there's other details in this. Oh, so yeah, so there's this, there's the PlayStation logo here, so it goes like this, PlayStation logo, uh, square, triangle, blah, 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 and inside here, you do have, I don't know if you can see, uh, maybe I can get my phone to do, to, to show it to you, but yeah, here, so you have the PlayStation logo here, and on the other shoe, it just says Air Force One and the Nike Swoosh. Same thing here, so you have those two here. I don't know if they complete each other. No, they do not complete each other. It's just the, it's a replica? Yeah, straight up replica, same pattern. Um, what details can we check out? So here on the tongue, it says Air Force One. And here on the tongue, it says Air Force One. Nothing crazy. Oh yeah, the laces, the tip. The laces tip are just a basic blue. Um, I mean, the blue from PlayStation, obviously, like the right the right coat of blue, the right shade of blue. And that's pretty much it, man. There's nothing else on the box. Uh, I was so happy to just to show it to you. I didn't get my hands on the Jordan 1 uh, Xbox edition, which uh, which I thought it was instant with the, like this part of the shoe was like glow in the dark. And it was a 
Jordan one with like a green and a black uh, tone, which are Xbox, which looked like the Boston Celtics one, but it wasn't. So here you go, guys. That was the Air Force one. Hopefully, I can uh, size swap these for a size 12. Uh, otherwise, I will have to sell them and maybe like get them in the in the future. Uh, I do really want to sell them though, just for. I, I want to keep them, of course, but I feel like E3 tickets were like $250, which is a lot. And this could really pay me back not only the shoes that were like 200 or something, plus the ticket because the resale for this goes... Alright, so the Air Force One PlayStation right now, uh, you can't really see unfortunately, but for a size 11, so this is a size 11, goes for $500. Uh, the size 12 goes for $800. Um, I guess the higher you go in size, the more expensive it is because the more limited it is. I'm not sure how much Nike, how many of those Nike actually made, but I'm so happy to get them. Probably, I'll, I'll probably keep them. You know what? I'll probably sell some other stuff just to keep them. Sell some sell other sneakers because this is such a, a unique piece. Like, this is a gaming Nike shoe. Like, how, can you believe this? How, like, gaming is, like, such a, a like, the growth of gaming is amazing. Like, we're going to have sneakers now. Uh, I, I know that like uh, Immortals partnered with a, a sneaker company as well uh, and Nike now is like tackling with the Jordan brand on the Xbox and the Air Force One for the PS4 uh, it's tackling the market of like games and I thought it was really cool and plus the way of getting the shoe was very fun it was like a uh, augmented reality experience when you had to like look for clues on your phone like you have to look for a specific location around the convention center and it was really nice. It was really fun, and I got to, to talk with other people that were looking to grab the shoe. Some got the, some took the L, some didn't. I didn't take it. I'm so 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 happy about these. And I'm filling this with my laptop. I cannot believe I I I gone so low, but I really I was eager to make you guys a video. So finally, I get to show you these.